Hayden, it is on tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. First stage, the domain. It's always spectacular, isn't it? Welcome home, the rally. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ten years in the making, I guess. So uh, the kick it off with uh, Auckland domain stage tonight is going to be pretty spectacular and can't wait to get into it. It's only for a few days, ladies and gentlemen, so you've got to get in amongst it. What's your favourite stage out of the 17? Uh, well, it's hard to pick one. Uh, Whangar Coast is certainly the postcard stage of the rally uh, in terms of what's streamed around the world. But personally, probably the Tiakia stages, both north and south, which is really nice flowing stages. And uh, we do those twice on Friday, uh, so it'll be a good little challenge. Yeah, they say that, look, um, in, in past years, drivers have, have, have described it as a dream to drive this New Zealand rally. Why is that? Uh, they're just real driver's roads. You know, they're very smooth. Uh, you know, we almost relate them to motorways on gravel in terms of the world of rallying. Um, they don't get rough, and you can just drive the cars 100% without, you know, having to worry about looking after them or breaking them. So it is all about the drivers and the co-drivers in the car, and, and um, you know, this is really a, a pure speed test. You know, the fastest driver will win. Um, there's not so much of an element of luck on, on this sort of event. How much work do they do on these roads? Like, if we drove them normally, you and me, would they be as good to drive on? Yeah, definitely. They're all maintained as per normal council uh, procedures. Um, so we're attacking them in the same way. And then, of course, after the event, they get graded. So um, in terms of the road conditions, as such, on the event, it does also depend on the weather. Um, if it's dry, we'll often have a bit of loose gravel that gets swept off as the, as the cars continue. Uh, but then if it's wet, then the roads get muddier. Um, so... The, the weather plays a big part of what we're doing. And, and 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 how much do you like this? Is is it is it because this is what you grew up on driving, or do you p- particularly prefer the gravel roads? Oh uh, well, gravel is, in New Zealand is what's predominantly what all our rallies are. We don't really have any tarmac rallies or snow rallies in New Zealand, so New Zealand drivers all learn and grow up on gravel. Um, so of course that's my preferred surface. But in saying that, you know, while we were in the WRC there for a number of years, we we learned to adapt to all surfaces. So. Um, but yeah, for sure, this is one of the drivers' favourite, not just ours, but most of the drivers who, who come here. Okay, so if you can't get to the fungus stage, what else do you recommend as a place for people to go and watch? Uh, there's quite a few good spots. Uh, Auckland Bay, as I say, is an awesome little spectator stage. It's quite short, but it's a good way to start the rally. And then uh, Jack's Ridge on Sunday is a, a real sort of arena set up where you can see the cars for a long period of time. And um, yeah, it's going to be an awesome viewing out there as well. But anywhere up north, even around Puhoi, Kuiper Hills on, on Saturday. Uh, there's a few good vantage points as well. The last time we spoke to you, you are off to Wales. How did that go? Yeah, good. Yeah, um, We probably went better than what we expected over there. We were able to get our, our first win on tarmac, so uh, it was always a nice bonus. Um, so, yeah, that was put us in a good position on that championship, and uh, we head back over to Italy uh, next week, actually, for the last round of that championship to see if we can um, try and wrap that up as well. So what do you do to your car on the very last day? Is there anything at all? Uh, not so much. Um, so, you know, we've, uh, we've got the car sort of set up to start the rally, and then, you know, bar anything major, you, you'll try and stay in the same setup window for the whole rally. Um, and then, really, it's about the team maintaining it, and, you know, they're very busy throughout the services um, during the rally and keeping the car up to a good level and making sure it's reliable and, and can get to the finish. Hayden Patton, champion rally driver with us. WRC is underway tonight. Auckland Domain stage here on the platform. Or I can't believe it's been 10 years, mate. Good Lord, has it gone that quick? Yeah, it's uh, gone there, quite, particularly the last few months. And, you know, everything has been so busy that the, it seems that the rally's crept up on us very quickly. So, uh, yeah, we're, I think we're pretty um, pretty lucky to get it back here. Um, so it's a matter of everyone getting out there and supporting it. I remember some crazy things that have happened. I don't know whether you could call There was one guy, I think, lost his wheel, and he drove with only three wheels on until the cops actually stopped him halfway back. And Can you remember that? Uh, yeah, there's been a few good stories over the time um, that Rally New Zealand's been here, like, you know, you look back, there's a lot of history on this rally as part of the WRC. Um, I think this is something like its 30th time it's been here. So in terms of an, an annual World Championship event, it's probably up there with um, most other sports in terms of having a World Championship event here in New Zealand. I can remember back when it was called the Heatway Rally, I think it was. Yeah, the Heatway. And it was one get this by a Holden Monaro. Can you imagine driving one of those around? Uh, she'd be a beast, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if I'd like to be hanging on to that one, but... Uh, yeah, the, ca- the cars are a little bit more sophisticated nowadays. Yeah, and it certainly had some some swing on the back of it. Who who do we watch out for then, the big names? Yeah, obviously there's 10 uh, Rally 1 cars here, and um, uh, Kelly raven Pierre is leading the World Championship at the moment, uh, so he'll be one to watch, but there's a, a good fight up front um, for not only the championship, but obviously everyone wants to try and win this rally. Uh, you've got Sebastian Ogier, who's an, an eight-time world champion, who's come back for this rally as a one-off. Um, 
you know, if the weather's dry, then I think he'll be, will certainly be a dark horse. So, you know, any one of those top 10 are going to be up there fighting at the front um, in, in those sort of cars. It's, it will be certainly uh, pretty spectacular. You said before, you think it's going to be fast, do you? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, we're expecting some rain, uh, you know, on and off throughout the rally. You know, I guess it's normal sort of Auckland climate. Um, so, you know, the rain may make things a little bit slipperier, but the roads look generally like they're in very good condition, very hard base. So um, that'll mean I think it will be quite a, a fast rally. Champion driver Hayden Pan is with us on the platform. So people want to watch you. Where do you recommend? What day? Where to go? Uh, well, the best place is to go rallynewzealand.org.nz um, to get the spectator maps and, and find out where all the, the spectator points are. There's, there's quite a few different spectator areas on each of the three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, um, as I say, Auckland Domain will be the one that's free to get up there, so that's really nice and easy. Uh, and then, as I say, Jack's Ridge will be an awesome place on Sunday. I remember with Radio Sport way back when, a couple of decades ago, mate, we argued ferociously with whatever government department it was about they only wanted the, the New Zealand League only wanted half a million in those days. I know that it costs a few million now more, but you think about it, you think about the spectators that watch this, you think about the potential tourism, you think about the picture postcard that it is of New Zealand. It just seems like such a no-brainer. Do you agree? Oh, 100%. It brings in tens of millions of dollars into Auckland. Um, it brings a lot of promotion and a lot of awareness of New Zealand. Um, but, you know, the rally, we're out rallying in some of the, the most beautiful parts of our country and those images are streamed all around the world. You know, what better way is there to promote New Zealand as a destination and, and to build our tourism um, industry again because, you know, that's the one thing that's taken a hit over the last few years. So, you know, this, this I guess, rally, which is streamed to millions of people around the world, um, gives us that chance to try and encourage people to come here. Yeah, what do we have to do, as sports fans, what do we have to do to try and make this such a success that those in the houses of power might look at it and go, OK, yeah, this is really beneficial to the country? What are, I mean, what, is it just spectators turning up? I don't know. Yes, yeah, spectators, but also not just on the stage. It's just even around Service Park, you know, where you know, the Service Park, which is down here by Silo Park on the Vidak Harbour, um, is a really central hub. And, you know, this, this place is um, packed and buzzing on Friday and Saturday nights. And, you know, at the end of the day, the, the big wigs of the WRC, they're all based down here. They're all in the offices here. And they see lots of people here. They see lots of support. And they see lots of enthusiasm for it. Then they can see that New Zealand means business when it comes to rallying. How do you prepare on race day, mate? Well, take us through, finally, what you actually do. Do you get up at the same time every morning? Do you go through a routine? What is it? Uh, no, every day is different, uh, depending on the itinerary for the day. So Friday, we start at uh, 5 a.m., 5 um, back at 9. So you've got a long road section to get down to Raglan on, on Friday morning. And then um, it's all about the preparation at night times with the videos and the pace notes getting out already. And then, of course, once you get to the rally days, just trying to be relaxed as you can and Keep the heart rate low, and then once you get into action, pump yourself up and um, and you know floor floor the, the throttle. Is it still as much fun as it always was? Hundred percent. That's why I love it. Uh, you never get enough of it. So uh, yeah, she's definitely an addiction. Oh well, look, all the very best. Thank you so much for spending some time with this race, day, mate. All the very best for the weekend and and on to Italy from there and the rest of the career. Always, thank you so much. Great. Thanks so much. Cheers.